Okay, so the next entry point that we're talking about today is the ref link. Now, the ref link is extremely simple, but equally powerful. It's definitely something that you don't want to be ignoring in your messenger strategy. So what is the ref link exactly? Well, it's a link, of course, a URL that you can share with anybody to promote your messenger chatbot. As an example, maybe you're texting somebody, you're emailing them, you can share that link with them to drive them into your chatbot. And if you're feeling really technical and a bit crazy, you can also even convert that URL, that ref link into a QR code that users can scan on their phone and drive them into the chat experience, which is pretty cool. But again, more technical, not gonna cover that right now. So there are really two ways of using ref links in your messenger bot, and I'll show you those right now. So here we are in Flow Builder, and the first way of using a ref link is at the very beginning of your flow. So I can double click here to add a ref link, and we simply connect that ref link to the first block, and there we go, right? So I have this very generic flow here for the furniture brand as per the last video, and we're basically asking users, hey, what kind of furniture are you interested in? And then we're segmenting them accordingly. So in this case, again, I've just created a ref link for that generic flow and we can share it with anybody once we toggle this switch here to set it live. Also worth mentioning, of course, you can customize the actual ref parameter you're using to kind of pretty it up, beautify it a little bit so it doesn't look ugly. Like right now it just says ref link. If I want to, I can you know edit that, call it something a little bit more on brand or relevant like furniture. And then again, I can share that link, drive users into my chat experience. So that's how the ref link works. That's one way, again, to drive people just generically into the beginning of a flow. But another extremely powerful use case here is actually creating a shortcut, a deep link almost in your chatbot. So say for example, for this furniture brand, I'm a salesperson and I'm chatting with a lead. If I know that they already like couches and I just wanna send them more information via messenger, what I can do is actually create a ref link for a specific part within this flow, a deeper part of the conversation if I already have that context outside of messenger. So for example, you know, here we have a gallery with three cards for a couch, a chair, and a bed. Again, if I already know they like couches and that's what they wanna buy, and this is the block that that couch option links to, then I can just very simply, you know, move this over, double click to add another ref link, choose ref link, and drag this over, connect it to this block. And now, just like we did before, I can zoom in, set this live, customize it a bit by calling this couch, and then sharing that link with the potential customer over text, driving them into Messenger. Now they're a subscriber. I can re-engage them in the future. And now I have them on multiple channels as well, which really enriches my marketing and sales strategy. So that in a nutshell is how the ref link works. Again, there's two ways to use it, either the generic way to link to a flow or to link deeper within that conversation if you have existing context. So that's the ref link. Make sure to try it in Flow Builder today.